Hello everyone, this is Naham and today we are talking about the circulatory system. The function of the circulatory system is to transport oxygen and nutrients all around the body and to receive waste products as well. So what organs or parts are found in this system? The circulatory system is composed of heart, blood and blood vessels. Our heart is a muscular organ that is composed of four rooms or chambers. The two upper rooms are called atria, while the two lower ones are called ventricles. The two chambers at the left side carry clean oxygenated blood, while the two chambers at the right side carry deoxygenated blood. We have special tubes for carrying blood through our body, and these tubes are called collectively as vessels. There are three types of blood vessels in our body. Arteries that carry clean oxygenated blood from the heart to the body parts. Veins that carry unclean deoxygenated blood from our body parts to the heart and blood capillaries that connect between them. In this table you will find the comparison between arteries and veins. You will notice that arteries are stronger and have thicker walls to withstand the high pressure of the blood in them that results from the heart's pump. And because the blood rushes quickly in these arteries, there is no need for any valves in them because the blood already will be forced to move in one direction with no chance for any backflow. The opposite happens in the vein, in which the blood moves slower from the body parts to the heart and thus gives a chance for some blood to backflow. That is why we have valves in our veins. 